How's it going guys? Today I'm going to um, show you some GPD Win 2 footage with some gameplay. I've seen a lot of it online and I was following it when I was about to buy one myself and I noticed that there was there was a lot of videos on it but not a lot of complete videos so I'm just going to give you a run through of like the games that it can play well after messing about with loads of different emulators and yeah we'll jump straight into it. Alright so as you can see the GPD Win 2 is here. Um, I've got a number of games that I want to try out for you and I've also got some emulators installed including my front end which is Big Box which makes the device look really awesome just makes it look really really retro and cool so yeah we're into a uh, Big Box now as you can see it's got all my emulators here uh, including some that can play but are a little bit iffy I'll get into it so PSP plays absolutely fine I can share some gameplay of that in a second Super Nintendo obviously plays fine 64 plays fine Game Boy Advance obviously plays fine GameCube games I've actually running on a special version of the Dolphin emulator I should be able to find that and put it in the in the video now it's 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 some special kind of Dolphin emulator because I, I tried to run the original Dolphin emulator on it and I was I wasn't getting that really good frame rates on on a lot of the games but this one with like two times resolution um, and widescreen enabled is getting me 60 FPS in a lot of the games, if not all of them I've got on here. Um, surprisingly, Nintendo Wii emulator works really well on this because it's Dolphin again. And yeah, I've been able to play Mario Galaxy on it. I'll show you that in a second. Dreamcast with Recast, the emulator works really good. Like it has literally no slowdown and all the Dreamcast games pretty much run on it. Well, all the most popular ones. Uh, like Soul Calibur and all that. I don't actually know if that was Soul Calibur, but it looks similar. Uh, PS PS One plays fine. Uh, PS Two is the one that runs iffy. Uh, I'll just go into some games and tell you about some games. Persona Three, awesome, works great. Silent Hill Two and Silent Hill Three and Four work perfectly fine. Uh, at two times resolution, this is in the PSX emulator. PS. PC, I always forget the name of it, but yeah, the PSXC one or whatever. Uh, Sound Hill Room works fine, yeah, Origins fine. Simpsons game, a little bit iffy, and the the graphics, you might have to use some hacks on it because there there is a bit of like graphical issues on it. Uh, yeah, that works fine. Sonic Heroes works good. Spider-Man 2, not playable on the PS2 emulator, the, it's just... The slowdown is too bad, but luckily it's available on the GameCube one, so and it works fine on the GameCube one, so just get it on GameCube. Spyro works awesome. Um, yeah, just works as you normally expect Spyro to work. Tekken 5, fighting game, uh, but yeah, it works fine. And Burnout 3, had some issues in Burnout where the sky would be black. It's, it's even black in the, in the demo footage. It's really strange, some graphical issue with the emulator. Um, and I also had some slowdown on this, I had to put it to native resolution. Um, it runs decently, but not 100%. It runs about 80 to 100%. This is this goes for both Burnout games. Uh, Crash Bandicoot, yeah, that runs fine. God of War, surprisingly difficult to run, but works perfectly fine. As long as you have the, the graphics set to native. Um, sometimes two two times works with uh, the speed hack set of four. Um, I just I have the speed hack set of four in all all of the games. Um, but yeah, the, the God of War seems to work perfectly fine, which is strange considering other games don't work fine. Godfather works, but you need a you need a hack on Godfather, otherwise the you'll get some weird graphical issues. But it's not difficult to sort out. GTA's work decently. I did get them to run perfectly fine. Maybe on native resolution or two times. Depends on what GTA it is. San Andreas works really well. Um, same, same goes for Vice City. The uh, Liberty City stories and Vice City stories need to run at native, otherwise they'll run. They'll, they won't run as fast. You might as well even just play these at two times on the PSP emulator. Uh, Tomb Raider Anniversary similar to GTA. But it does work up to 100%, it just depends on what level you're in in the game, uh, with speed hack set for. The only issues I ran into, Max Payne works fine by the way, the only issues I ran into was Metal Gear Solid. These were really difficult to run, um, just due to the nature of the, the graphics of the game. 
way ahead of their time. Uh, you won't be able to run these at 100% speed on, on this emulator, sadly. Um, you might be able to play it on... I don't think it's out on anything else, is it? Maybe the PC version might run better. Um, yeah, just not the emulated to PS2 versions. Uh, Red Dead Revolver works fine. Shadow of Rome works really well as well. And yeah. Uh, now we're going to check out the GameCube emulator. Just because I'm really impressed with it. The Dolphin emulator works awesome. So... FIFA Street 2, I had to get it on the GameCube emulator because a lot of the games that are on PS2 that don't run on PS2 run perfectly fine on GameCube uh, and this it goes for FIFA Street 2 and a lot of the games like Freedom Fighters that's also on PS2 but you just prefer to run it on GameCube because it just runs a lot nicer. Um, yeah, all, Like I say all these games run really well, even Zelda titles um, on 2 times resolution as well normally. Like I say, running the special version of Dolphin. Um, and there's also like widescreen 16x9 available on a lot of these titles, just in-game. In which is really nice. Um, just let me get you an example. I'll load up... Uh, I don't know, let's load up Wind Waker. I feel like everyone does, everyone does Wind Waker. Let's do something different. Alright, so I don't feel like everyone really shows a Simpsons Hit and Run, but it does work really well. So, might as well just show you Simpsons Hit and Run, everyone loves this game, it's a classic. So, this is the Simpsons Hit and Run running on a Dolphin emulator. Um, I might actually show you my settings for the Dolphin emulator if you want to get it running like this. But yeah, um, I did spend a lot of time trying to get all these games to run at, at perfect speed. Like I say, the GameCube, em the GameCube emulator was definitely the easiest one to get running after I chose the right version of Dolphin. It's probably the most crucial part. Um, I did watch some guy's video, and he was really helpful at getting it running. So I might link his uh, video in the description. Um, but yeah, I've got some. I've got Fraps in the corner, and the built-in emulator is also given as an FPS count. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's running pretty smooth. It drops down to like 57 or something, but it's not noticeable. Um, and yeah, sorry, I'm trying to drive with like one hand. It's really difficult. But yeah. Simpsons emulator runs really well. Simpsons, Simpsons hit and run. And as you can see, it's not like I've just started the game either. I've been playing it for a while, so... I've actually finished the Homer and Bart's levels. Now I'm on Lisa's level. Um, yeah, cool. Maybe show you some PS2 emulators. PS2 games. So, here's one of my favourite game series of all time. Persona 3. Uh, well, Persona in general. Actually, I haven't ever played Persona 3. I started at Persona 4. Um, so kind of working my way back. But yeah, as you can see, it runs really well. This is the PS2 emulator. Um, and yeah, this is probably the game that I've been playing the most on this emulator. Uh, and yeah, it runs it runs awesome. Um, yeah, I, would, I wouldn't ever be scared that this was going to run slow. It runs perfectly fine. I can't really show you any battles because my story mode is not at that point. Um, but yeah, it trust me, it runs perfectly fine. So this is Silent Hill 2 running on the PS2 emulator. It's really dark, but I guess that's just Silent Hill. Try not to get any reflections. The screen's obviously reflective, but if you're playing it in real in real life with actual lighting conditions, it's perfectly fine. Um, so yeah. Silent Hill 2 is awesome, runs really well. Uh, this is two times resolution as well. Um, I don't want to get myself killed, but I'll just go outside one of these doors and see what happens. Um, yeah, never played a Silent Hill game, but I love the uh, the idea of the whole town and stuff. But it's just really dark and scary. So, well, it's scary, but like more atmospheric, I guess. Yeah, that's probably a good word to use. But yeah, as you can see, it runs fine. Uh, the combat works really well. Boss fights run fine, um, just a really good game to run on the uh, emulator. Another quick thing I want to mention is definitely for the PS2 emulator, get PAL versions of the games. So if whether or not you're getting them from whatever site you get the games from, the ROM files, uh, get PAL versions because they run at 50 FPS, um, which means you'll get no slowdown. Um, whereas the American versions, <coughs> the American versions run at 60 FPS. Or 60 hertz, um, and obviously it's harder to reach 60 hertz in some titles, uh, like God of War. So definitely getting the PAL versions helps them run a lot smoother. Um, 
this is a this is a massive um, a massive boost in case she was having issues running the games before. But like like, like I say, this is God of War two. Um, obviously, I can't do much because I'm I'm using one hand to film. But let me just get my. You see, it's 14, 49, 49 frames, fifty frames. It's basically full speed. Um, you can't really ask for much more than that. I know there's not a lot of enemies on screen. I'll try and find an area of enemies. But yeah, like I say, getting the PAL versions of these harder to run games is definitely the best idea. They basically run the same, but if you're getting 100% speed, you will not you, you won't hear any distortion in the sound, and the game won't look like it's lagging or whatever. So it's, like, it's, it's not even dropped past 50. So you can. Trust me on that one. I know there's a lot of graphically intense boss fights in this, um, so I'm not sure how it runs later on into the game. But there is a giant titan that you fight at the start of this, and I didn't get any slowdown whilst fighting that giant titan. So I guess, yeah, I guess it runs perfectly fine. And also, this one supports widescreen, so it just looks really cool. It looks awesome, to be fair. Like on a smaller screen like this with two times resolution. It's just it's just much nicer to play, and obviously because it's portable, best of both worlds, isn't it? So we looked at uh, PS2 and we looked at GameCube. I'll just show you. Um, I'll, sh I'll show you one PSP game just to show you that it runs. I mean, I could show you God of War again, but they run fine. Um, even Peace Walker. I know Peace Walker's um, like basically runs at 20 FPS all the time anyway, but like it, it gets 100% speed. Let me just find something decent to play. Whatever. We'll do Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet and Clank size matters. Um, this one runs perfectly fine. I think I'm running the PSP emulator at two times as well. So, I mean, can't go wrong. Looks great on the screen as well. So Ratchet and Clank runs at 30 FPS natively anyway. Um, as you can see in the top right, PSP has a really helpful speed setting in the top right. I don't know if PS2 has one, but I haven't found it. Um, and yeah, it runs at full speed, and this is two times resolution too. It'd be nice if you could hack it to get it to 60, I'm not really sure if you can do that, um, let me know if you can. I'll just hit some boxes, you, you get no slowdown, it runs perfect. Really good emulator, the PSP one, when it has the right hardware. I mean the Intel graphics, I think the 600, Intel graphics 615 or something, 615. To do the job, I mean, I know that there's supposed to be a new GPD coming out. Well, speculated to be coming out in the next year or so. Um, and they've actually had to switch over to AMG because of Intel graphic card problems or something. So I don't know if that's going to affect emulators. But yeah, if you're debating on getting one of these, just get it and sell it later on if you want, really want to get the new one. The new one looks way too big in my opinion. I've seen some prototypes of it and it just... I don't know, this one's put this one is pocketable. I keep it in a little 3DS case to give you an idea, like an XL. Um, the new one just looks huge. It kind of defeats the point of the uh, device. But yeah, PSP emulator runs perfect. So a classic on the Dreamcast now, we've got Sonic Adventure 2. The, the Dreamcast emulator is really cool. You can upscale, I mean you literally pay, you pay like two pounds for it or just under that or just over that and you literally just get access to the best Dreamcast emulator and you can really upscale the textures as well um, I think this is running at maybe three times resolution or four times resolution and it runs perfect like it's just an awesome em emulator sadly I don't really know many Dreamcast games except maybe Shenmue um, Soul Calibur and obviously Sonic Adventure but yeah, if you really love Dreamcast, then definitely the GPD Win 2 is definitely a good option for you. So, I've actually got the Wii emulator running now, and we're playing Super Mario Galaxy. I think that this is like everyone's favourite Wii game. Um, the only issue with the Wii emulator is obviously you've got to have uh, a sensor in one way or another. And you can use the right analogue stick, but it's really sensitive. I haven't really figured out how to make it less sensitive, but you just got to be really gentle with it in case you want to use the sensor. Um, but in the case of Galaxy, it's not a massive deal. You really just use the sensor to collect these little star, star bits on the screen. Uh, other than that, 
it runs really well. It should be running at 60, I might have to change some settings. Usually it runs at 60. It's pretty much running at 60 anyway. Um, I mean, it's running at like 55 to 60. But yeah, this is the this is a Nintendo Wii, by the way. So you literally could play any Wii game um, as long as you sort out the, the controller settings. Uh, like I said, the sensor's a bit weird to get it used to. Um, but yeah, I've tested Galaxy One and Two, and they both work fine. Like I say, with this special version of Dolphin that I'm running. So yeah, I'm thinking of making another video, but showing off some actual PC games, which would be quite cool. Um, I've been playing some GTA 4 on it, um, so I'll show off stuff like that, but yeah, it runs really well. I'll speak to you guys in a bit.